one you want to use. Uh, 287. Uh, two energy levels. So you want to use that equation. Did you peruse, Dylan? Yeah. Slightly. Maybe if you go to page 288, it uh, actually has an example which is oddly similar. Oh, yeah. But that's just ruining all the fun. Do it yourself first, then check yourself. Even though who said that originally? No? Ice Cube. So Dylan has one way of doing it. The book does it another. It's ni squared uh, nf, right? Ni comes first in that yeah. equation? Yeah. Yes. So notice how this one here is not negative because of that. It, it's kind of like the electron affinity. Oh my goodness, I forgot to go over that word. Wait, so if it was asking the amount of energy. No, we're going to finish this. Say it again, sir. If it wanted to know the amount of energy absorbed, if it was showing up level. You would not want the negative. Okay, so you don't use negative. It's starting here, going there. So it should be releasing energy. So here's the concept. I'm sorry, I cut you off. Anytime you plug an E in for E to HV, you don't really want it to be negative. But it can be to show that it's being released. Just understand that frequencies, wavelengths, they cannot be negative numbers. So should I not use You don't, don't use an negative. Don't use an negative. It's kind of like electron affinity. It's the number is more important than the sign. So you have to go back to 280, I think, to get the color. Page 280. Whoa. That's a big number. And that, it makes sense. I'll write your homework on the board right now so I don't forget. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, okay, I want you guys to be nice in Spanish, okay? Be nice. She's not very nice to us. It's being recorded right now. Yeah, you gotta find yeah, oh, equals yeah. once you get E, you get yeah. E equals A V, then C equals lambda V. Multiple steps. Well, you can negate the negative sign. You don't okay, so 6.9, six six whatever, and not for lambda? Yeah. No. I got 4.34. Are you stealing my notebook? What'd you get for that? Uh, what'd you get for that? What'd you get for that? Uh, what'd you get for that? E? Well, negative. Awesome. 4.58. I think I think you outdid me. You look really really uh, legit, man. I you got the little boys costume. <laughs> 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 you know, 
Actually, I was thinking this morning, I bought this five, six years that ago. That's freaking crazy. But it's a one size fits all. It barely fits me. How is Pat going to wear this? That is unbelievable. All right, I, I think you guys, these are the runners for a Oh, no, really, seriously. That's hysterical, by the way. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I have this one from last year. I don't know if uh, uh, you might win but, for fun your second uh, year in a row. We'll see. I, I that is one of the best guys. I wish I. Oh, it does. I could put. I could put. Uh, well, put that solution. Hey, uh, Pat. Hey, 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 Pat.
times 10 to the negative 34 joules seconds. We get frequency because it's one over second, joules cancel, and we get uh, 6.91 times 10 to the 14th. 6.91 times 10 to the 4th right. positive, right? That's a pretty so high I, frequency. I got all the numbers right, but for some reason all of my like, the exponents are way off. You must have used the wrong one here. No, I used 18. Um, <laughs> all right, so 6.91, <laughs> uh, what do we do now? Uh, it doesn't make any sense. Plug it into the lambda one. Yes, so C equals lambda V. So we can uh, rearrange that equation if you want. So lambda equals speed of light divided by 6.91 times 10 to the 14th. So this number is our frequency that goes in for V. C is speed of light. This is meters per second. This is seconds minus one. Seconds cancel. We get meters. So it should be 4.34 times 10 to negative seven meters. We multiply that times one times 10 to the ninth um, nanometers. And you get 434 nanometers. And if you look at page 280, Maddie, what color is that? Purple. Yeah, purple or blue. blue, blue, dark blue, purple. Which actually makes a lot of sense. I didn't teach it to you yet, but there's not a lot of teaching. But if you have n equals 2, um, n equals 3, n equals 4, n equals, oops, n equals 5, stay with me here. If the electron is going from here to here, that amount of energy uh, is gonna be a lot. That's gonna be a lot of energy. If we go from three to two, so that amount of energy is gonna be lower amount of energy. So if this is a lower amount of energy, what would that translate to here, do you think? What color do you think has less energy is supposed to be? Red. 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 So three to two should be more towards the red end of the spectrum. So basically the way to think about this on page 280, if you're over on the left side, think of the frequency, right? The waves are really close together, that's a lot of energy, okay? If they're really far apart, okay, then they're gonna have not as much energy. So they, all, they move at the same speed, speed of light, but the energy associated with it is gonna be different. All right, now, um, I'm basically out of time. So let me uh, tell you, tomorrow, Please do not forget to remind me, okay? I'm, I'm gonna leave this right on my desk, but we gotta finish going over this. Um, Self-assessment, periodic table trends. Um, homework, uh, oh, there's four problems, sorry. Number, you're gonna have one for fun there, 123. Where's your holiday to do this? Um, it's gone. Well, holiday, that's it. It's an actual holiday. All right, yeah. Well, sort of. We don't get school. Also, Halloween for tradition. Um, so, so those four problems do tomorrow. Those four problems. I am after school if you need me for anything. And Earl, make sure you bring your uh, smoking jacket tomorrow. You're the professor. I will. I'm bringing a big block. Oh, Earl. Oh, actually, Mr. Dallas is a professor. So Earl, just make sure you memorize all the molecular geometries by tomorrow. And just be prepared to, uh, all the things you learned are false about dot structures.